Living in a team house is extremely important for top teams when it comes to their practice regimen. It closely resembles a frat house of sorts, but with way more wires and monitors. But when someone gets sick, it usually doesn't end with one person. <laughs> Sports.com. It is 94% of you that are confident Team Solo Mid are going to make it five. See if it works out. The level six has come in and he goes instantly for the ultimate, but it's going to be the death mark back on a shifter. He has the damage. He has the victory in the 1v1. First blood, Bjergsen. But Dyrus is teleporting from the back. There's the flash in from Annie and the Terra's on a Wiz Fusion. A good hit from Dyrus. He doesn't actually get an assist on the briefcase, unfortunately. But they're going to keep going for the fight here. No, it's Turtle. Great barrier. Trying to get in. Oh, very nicely done. And they're going for Shifter still, taking him down on that as well. Three have gone down to 10, dude, found by Odwin as they go through Dry Brush. He a full team of five. Can't even deter Tyrus off a of turret. Got him again. They go to the back line. Shifter very low, trying to get the kills out. While Turtle's also bleeding, almost dead right now, but the kills finally start coming in. It's the mid three from Nintendo to Wiz Fusion, and they're looking at the Nexus turrets now, Jeff. Daydream is the only one that keeps alive. Another fantastic, decisive win by TSM. 30 minutes in, Dyrus is eating two turrets for breakfast. There goes TSM, another win. Nexus is going to fall. It looks like Coast will not find any victories against TSM in their head to heads as TSM grabs another win. And Riv, even though that game took a little longer than was expected, that was one of the most complete victories TSM has had. Ever since I became the C9 mom, right? I haven't been helping out these guys a lot. I'm not stocking their water in the fridge anymore, so there's no water at their place. They actually live really close to a water or a market, and but uh, there's a problem. They're like, damn, we don't have water. Can you get us water? You know what I told them? Every time you go to LCS, Grab four bottles of water and bring it home. You don't need to feed yourself because LCS will feed you. Getting all my snacks. During the week, we took a visit to both the TSM and Cloud9 houses to see how their practice was going and how they were preparing for their rematch. I like telling them. Oh, f. Oh, f. I'm still dying. <laughs> Darius is dying. Bjergsen's dying too. Turtle might be dying. Especially, I don't know why he's in here. I just don't get it. He's probably the carrier. Yeah, he, he went, I don't know, he might have been the real guy who did it. Yeah, so. he planted it, I think, on all of you. Nah, uh, yeah, versus Cloud9, we usually uh, do different stuff because they do different stuff from other teams. So both teams try out new stuff against each other and see if it works or not. Um, sometimes we pull it out in LCS, sometimes it doesn't need to. Like, it's sort of also a backup plan, because if something's working, we might as well just keep doing it until it starts working. We both sort of know how each other's plays, but C9 usually, uh, I guess, just gets more out of our scrims and then figures out strategies that picks and bans, so, uh, so we'll just have to watch out for that. <laughs> yeah, I think right now both teams are just doing their like, we sort of want to play against each other, but we sort of don't want to show anything. I don't think we're going to be practicing against them anymore this week. It's because it's really not worth it. Like, they're a good team, and when we're not playing against each other, we learn a lot. But when we do, like, when we play against them this week, it's just like, neither team wants to try. Like, it's really important that we win. It's just going to show that we're, like, if we win, push first. If we lose, then we're second. So that's 
gonna be pretty important, that distinction. Yeah, that's one thing that we've always never been that good with, is like, finding new comps like that. Um, they play like Timo Comp pretty well, but I think we could have wanted to just play better. And I think we're just gonna focus on playing well, and I think if we play our game and we do how we've been doing in scrims, I, I think we'll be pretty good. Save splash there, by the way. Save splash. Probably not. Like, can't attack. Uh, I believe we played three matches against TSM, Coast, and EG. Uh, I think that would be pretty hard games. Especially, I think it, I think they're all pretty strong teams, especially TSM and Coast. They look pretty good, and EG plays really random things. So I don't know if I'm going to be really ready for that. Like they played out Urgat at Soraka last week, so I don't, I don't even know. As the captain of the team, Hai is certainly one of the most outspoken and vocal members of the squad. With a calm and collected manner, he's certainly someone the team looks to when the going gets tough. When I went to college in my freshman year, I was in a dorm and like a lot of people on my floor played League of Legends. I'm just walking by, I see people playing it. And then one day some kid just walks in my room and like starts telling me he plays it too. And at the time, he was better than me. He had higher ELO than me. So he's kind of like shit-talking, you know, obvious like guy thing to do. I'm not a fan of that personally, so I started playing more. I started getting better. And then I just started getting into it and started trying to climb the ladders. And Jack came to me and he was like, hey, I'm looking to create a new organization slash team. Would you be willing to do it? I was sitting in school going to classes, my college classes, and I didn't enjoy any of the classes. And then I realized that this is a opportunity you know not everyone can do this not everyone is as good at this game and this is like the beginning of it if i could get in the start of it in the beginning then it'd be great so then i figured if i don't make it school i can always do whenever i want it's hard to go back to school but i figured if i have nothing else to do i'd be forced to do that and then my parents would yell at me if i didn't do school in case i didn't qualify so i figured at worst i'd lose a year off of school and at best i'd be where i am at now so I figured the risk versus reward was worth it for me at the time. I really don't think me being the captain comes into that big of a deal as far as play goes. A lot of people don't even know I'm the captain. I don't really think it's a big deal either. I was a captain because back in the day I managed all the scheduling, I managed talking to sponsors, I managed talking to Jack and et cetera like that. I also did all the shot calling so I was just more or less the captain. As far as it putting pressure on me, I don't think that's a thing. Everyone has pressure so I think I'm under the same amount of pressure as everyone else on the team. Even though we went 25-3 and three in the grand scheme of things, that didn't really amount to much. We made it to Worlds, got kicked out right away. People will always say, who cares if they went 25 and 3? NA sucks. They haven't done anything on the World's Cage. I don't think we're the best team in the world, but I want to say we can compete with them. I kind of want to redeem ourselves after our poor performance at Worlds, and I want to put North America on the scale. I was more or less at the start of Cloud9. I, I was there from the beginning, and I was there from its roots. So I kind of want to be there until the end of it too. I want to see where I can grow. I want to see what I can do and make it a bigger thing. Alright, um, is it choking you? Uh, it's weird around the neck. Actually, it's kind of good. Time to get up. Why? This whole LCS thing, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's get you, um, we have some breakfast, by the way. Breakfast sandwiches and orange juice and fruit. Oh, you're fully dressed and ready to go. Thinking ahead. That's why Balls is here. Think you're gonna win. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Today's a, it's a really important match today. We're gonna be going against our top rivals, TSM. They uh, have a six and one record, and so do we. Um, they're only losses to us, so we know they're gunning for us. Uh, but uh, we're not gonna make it easy on them. We're planning to win. This is like the best Who takes the longest showers? I don't know. Like special. Like special? What the f? <laughs> <laughs> you guys take five minutes to take a shower. Literally. Three ten. She doesn't have the least hair. Therefore, I take the short showers. This is how it works. He's gone for like an hour and they're you know, like, where were you? And then he's like, showering. <laughs> oh. Well, man. Do you ever look up what people are saying about you guys' predictions and all that? Or you kind of stay clear? Um, I mean, if I see it, then I'll uh, click on it. If I don't see it, then I won't go out looking for it. 
But usually I do want to see what people are saying just to have a general idea. Um, yeah, try not to let that influence me too much, but I, I see I'll still come back. There's nothing revealing about it. Hey, you guys want to be both sides today? You guys want to switch sides? No, we want Cassidy. Uh, we want Cassidy. Uh, rock, paper, scissors, square. Where do it get Cassidy? I, I won't back down. You know what? Why don't we just I'm not going to back down. Why don't we just flip a coin and then that'll be the way of No, this, this makes it more legit. Make <laughs> special? Why would I? I'm not, I'm not batting it. Dyrus. Really you guys are the mid laters. You guys better, dude. Why are you guys mad up? I don't, I don't give a f. <laughs> like I'm not backing down here, and all three of you are backing down. Someone? Why not? Cast and top yeah, showpiece. There's zero chance oh, of you guys getting casted, but there's a chance that we can't. So yeah, yeah, we like, have a high chance of getting casted. No, it, it, it's open, and you're like, huh. And then I don't want Cassidy because he sucks. Whoa. I should give it to High. Okay, only curse that it's still doing you that. True. True. Oh, wait, is that APL sword? Shut up. APL sword sucks. I know. <laughs> so right now it's day two, uh, week three of LCS, and we're about to play Cloud9 in two hours. At the moment, we're both 6-1, and so this match really decides who the number one team in North America is. The guys have been really sick, like Ottawa's been borderline dying, Turtle. Everyone besides Exceptional, Exceptional's like, I'm fine, I don't know why you guys are all sick, but I'm fine. In our previous match, we played the first game of the season. Um, I felt like they didn't really play their full potential because they were really nervous and they just weren't comfortable. But I think that since uh, we're at the third week of LCS now, they've uh, been playing on stage, they've been warming up. They, I think that they're going to perform a lot better. I think that uh, we're going to do really well. I wouldn't say we have, have a grudge against them, but it, it's one of those things where we really want to beat them ourselves that we can't beat them. Uh, I'll, buy, I'll buy you dinner later. It's called my spot. It's What's that? You'll be dinner later. Dinner. I promise. I, I'm buying dinner. Remember that means. Remember that means? You'll be dinner no matter what. No, 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 no. no. I got the deal works. You know the deal works. Go dinner. I got barbecue Winner buys time. dinner. I got barbecue last time. Winner buys dinner. Last time. Winner buys dinner. Thank you for the dinner. <laughs> Blue side, it's Team Solo Mid. And a team never to be underestimated on the red side. It is the reigning NALCS champions, Cloud9. But he oh, goes in. He gets them right back to his shadow. Goes for the death. Mark, it does not spike enough damage with the Ignite stop. Elimination might go hard. A very nice ultimate there. Solar Flare goes down as well as a true shot barrage. Can they finish out Wild Turtle though? It's special to the back line, stopping a good amount of damage. Sneaky, very low. It's special, no flash, no ignite. Oh, he just uses it all. Tall Turtle, Peacemaker, first blood on the long range. There's the initiation. Oh, the flash. Vault Breaker going in from the odd one, and then he does the assault battery. But he is in a 2v1. Down to the bottom of the screen, they're trying to zone out the entire team with the Crow Storm. And coming in with both. Got him with the True Shot Barrage. It's going to be a walk away for High and a fight in the Baron. With Baron up. There it goes. True Shot Barrage comes through. The Solar Flare. Medios coming in from the backside. Can he get there? Odd one. Feared up. He's going to be taking a lot of damage. But Bjerner Medios goes down to the blink of an eye. Sneaky on the backside. Has to shift away. And he can't put DPS into the fight. Big Special goes back in with the flash and the ignite still up. Wild Turtle taking down Ezreal. High goes down as well. Team Solo mid almost AC9, but take the Baron. An amazing game, Team Solo mid going to take sole possession of first first place over Cloud9. Give them their second loss of the season, and they're gonna look to be seven and one now in the spring split. TSM, even in their sickened state, had finally done it. As they celebrated the win, a stunned Cloud9 would collect themselves in their team room. However, one member from C9 would be missing. I don't know, I was kind of upset because I almost killed Bjergsen like twice. He had like 20 HP both times and I don't know. If I could have killed him, it would have been a much, much different game. I think we had worse picks. Like, it, it's easier for them to play their comp than it is for us to play our comp. So we could have done a better comp, but... And as one team celebrated the night, the other would begin counting down the days until they finally faced off again. 